hello insta fan okay this is called a hydrometer it is used to measure the specific gravity of a substance okay now i had previously talked about how i was going to do a tutorial on how to use um, a hydrometer to determine the amount of ethanol in um, a liquid but i realized that the range of this hydrometer is actually 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 okay and the specific gravity of pure water which is what is inside this um, measuring cylinder is actually um, one okay so this will not surface so now the purpose of what I wanted to do was I wanted to teach you how to determine the purity of the solvent you have because if you have been checking my previous post you would have seen where people have been mixing all sorts of things into water some even going as far as mixing methanol which is toxic and can even cause blindness into water all in the name of preparing um, um, hand sanitizers now remember that the um, hand sanitizer must be between 60 and 70 percent of alcohol now if there's a lot of dilution and adulteration going on now you are likely not getting the right thing so we need to be able to test out whatever we have to be sure it conforms that's the hydrometer immersed in 96% ethanol right there, okay? And you can see that the hydrometer is immersed even to the bottom. It's actually floating, it's supposed to float in the liquid like that, okay? So what you do is when it stops bobbing up and down, you measure. Um, you measure it actually okay, so the specific gravity of 96% ethanol okay so that's the meniscus there that's the meniscus as you can see so I'll take my readings of it after taking your readings you can go to separations processes.com and then you check the readings on the table right there as you can see it and you compare now please note that the temperature of this uh, table is graduated there are different temperatures okay we have different temperatures here in nigeria the temperature right now is 33 so just check accordingly and then look for the percentage alcohol on the table so with this table you can be able to figure out what percentage alcohol that you have in your mixture 